Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Maritime Safety Talk. Today we're exploring the largest and most advanced aircraft carrier commissioned by the United States military. In July 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford. This colossal vessel, costing nearly $13 billion, took nearly four years to build at Newport News Shipbuilding, Despite being the biggest in the world at 1,100 feet long, life aboard the Gerald R. Ford for its 4,500 crew members will be quite similar to that on any other modern aircraft carrier. Let's dive in and explore this engineering marvel. Mooring lines that hold it to the dock for a ship of this type, mooring lines can be as thick as a man's arm and weigh thousands of pounds. For this reason, it can take a significant amount of time to prepare the ship to move away from the docks. Once underway, the ship requires assistance in order to navigate out of the shallow water. This is typically performed by a team of tugboats who push and pull the larger ship until it is out in deeper water Despite the powerful engines being able to push the Gerald R. Ford up to speeds of more than 35 miles per hour, its traditional rudder system cannot turn effectively when moving at slower speeds once clear of the docks and any underwater obstacles the aircraft carrier can continue out to sea under its own power. The core of any aircraft carrier is the navigation bridge. In the USS Gerald R. Ford, this bridge is located on a 555 metric ton island structure on the ship's deck. As the highest point of the vessel, it houses the primary air control and navigation operations, along with radar and communication antennas. Despite advancements in digital and satellite navigation, the crew must be proficient in traditional navigation methods. Should the USS Gerald R. Ford experience an EMP attack or lose satellite connectivity, the crew would rely on maps, sextants and other age-old navigation tools to find their way. Though it's tempting to think of aircraft carriers solely as weapons of war, they are actually more akin to floating cities with thousands of people living on board at any given time. It is imperative that the ship's culinary team be able to supply three regular meals, snacks and more to their shipmates. The USS Gerald R. Ford has a food service division that features a huge team of culinary specialists. These people take a very customer-focused approach to their job, aiming to produce delicious meals that also fit the Navy's dietary and health requirements. Foreign Carrier Commissary is equipped with the same sorts of cooking equipment as a state-of-the-art restaurant, but has many more customers than even the busiest restaurant on land on the Gerald R. Ford. There are around 75 people tasked with putting out around thound meals a day. The ship and the conditions work shifts may be split up into 12 hours or four hour increments at home. This generally leaves about half the day for eating, sleeping and recreation. In order to make sure their crew members stay in fighting shape crews on carriers around the world, often set up special fitness programs. The goal is to encourage the men and women on board to invest at least some of their free time in physical fitness. In many cases, these fitness challenges evolve into a stiff competition between crew members looking to outdo one another. This not only increases the general camaraderie among the crew, but helps keep everyone in shape for the mission. The crew members will train with weapons and perform various duties in multiple types of conditions. They even participate in firefighting functions, which is generally considered a worst case scenario when a fire breaks out aboard a Navy vessel. Perhaps one of the most important jobs aboard a Navy ship is maintenance after all. Not only do these massive vessels have all the problems of a complex nuclear-powered boat, 
but they also have the same issues one might associate with living in a massive apartment complex. To ensure they don't run out of food, fuel or supplies, the US military uses a system called underway replenishment. In this process, a specialized replenishment tanker pulls alongside the carrier and connects by shooting a line between the two ships. These lines are then used to set up hoses and conveyors, transferring fuel, water and munitions on board while offloading anything unsafe to dispose of on the ship. Navies worldwide have relied on this replenishment system for decades, allowing their ships to remain on mission without needing to return to port. The USS Gerald R. Ford will frequently launch and recover multiple aircraft. While it's not always essential to have planes in the air, it is crucial to ensure that pilots, flight deck crews and other team members are well practiced and prepared for any situation the ship might face during its mission. This constant training and readiness are vital for the ship's operational success and the safety of its crew. Regular drills and exercises help maintain the high level of skill required to handle the complex operations on the flight deck. Pilots must be ready for quick deployments, emergency landings and various tactical maneuvers. Similarly, flight deck crews need to be adept at handling aircraft in all conditions, ensuring the safety and efficiency of operations. This rigorous preparation ensures that the USS Gerald R. Ford can respond swiftly and effectively to any threat or mission requirement, maintaining its superiority and readiness at all times. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.